Hello. Welcome back. It's It's been a while. I've been on a bit of a modding hiatus, and I've been coming back to work on Baron. Yeah, we're finally back to Baron after all this time. So what are we doing in Baron? Well, let's launch it up and take a look. So we're, we're just on Equinox because I like Equinox. But, um... I want just, we're gonna turn on God mode so I don't die while I'm displaying this. But we've actually been working. I say we, but I mean me. I've been working on bruiser mode. So how's it work now? now I'm gonna have to do something about that purple later. But um, take pay attention to the hut because I'm gonna come in here and get. Rid of it. See that orange bar that's slowly building up. That is the bruiser bar, or a rage bar. As you take damage, it builds up. And when it's full, well... Finally, now that it's full, you can hit Weapon State 2 to transform into the Bruiser Demon. This is a one-way transformation. There's no way to turn back. Now, what all can the Bruiser Demon do? So first of all, your max health goes up to 2,000, as you may notice. You may also notice it's ticking up on its own because you gain slow health regen. Basically, you become an absolute monster of a tank, more so than you already were. Your spells are all different, including your apexes, and as you walk, you set the ground on fire. You also become immune to fire, which is a pretty big deal, because uh, archviles can now proceed to eat a dick. This is the new bruiser ball. It, uh... It shoots a cluster of five, with one central ball dealing a ton of damage and a cluster of weaker sub-balls that spread out and do less damage. It's devastating up close, and but of limited effect if you're really far away. Oh, there's a scroll on something. We'll get to that in a second. The main ball, as you saw briefly before that imp blew up, can set enemies on fire. And this is another central mechanic of the Bruiser Demon. Goddamn zombies. This is another central mechanic of the Bruiser Demon, is that enemies can be set on fire, and they build stacks when they're on fire. Let's summon some... So, with enough stacks, said, let's summon something strong. I said something stronger. God. I swear to God. Okay, there we go. If something gets enough stacks, it starts to explode when you add on new stacks, dealing extra damage and spreading more stacks around it. Oh, it's also nice how they just continue to burn for a while. I'm a big fan. Anyway. But that's the that's the Baron Ball and the Flame Stacks. So let's look at the other spells. Summon Fireball. There we go. Let's look at the other spells. Starting with the new incineration, Pyroclasm. What it does you throw two fireballs at once and these fireballs create an explosive trail behind them that deals damage and the fireballs themselves explode into hellfire damage which the hellfire damage is what builds stacks and sets enemies on fire so it lets you build up stacks against groups of strong enemies or really stack them onto a singular very strong enemy 
now let's go grab that scroll where we get to look at firestorm firestorm sends out a wave of fire that pierces enemies goes over walls and sets them on fire and builds stacks that's a recurring theme unfortunately i don't have catastrophe ready for this video but that's because i've been working on something else so since the first Doom Eternal trailer, where we saw the Baron of Hell wielding the blades, I've been getting requests to add those blades into the game. And of course, I've wanted to as well, but there just hasn't been a good place to fit them in. Doom Eternal came out, of course, and we saw that the barons are like these burning fire barons or fire whatever the hell they're called. And they have the blades, instead of it being blades that are attached to the wrist of a normal Baron. So, for Bruiser mode, your melee is the wrist blades. Uh, using the hands from one of those Fireborn Barons. Lore reason is that the f it takes so much energy to focus the blades in- to focus the Hellfire into blades that it drains the color from your skin and causes it to crack. So basically his arms turn chalky and magma-like, but his body remains orange, if you want to envision that. So how do the blades work? Unlike the normal melee, which you have to like focus on and manually input, this is just hold it down and you're off to the races, sending out a flurry of slashes. These slashes build flame stacks, set enemies on fire and do very good damage very rapidly they're very good your alt fire is still a ground pound except it sends out waves of fire and you're too hot to handle a rock so instead you throw a cluster of rocks which I need to tweak and set the ground on fire as you pull them up so that's cool I hope it's not the most effective weapon, but it's something cool, and it is a good close-range backup in case things go to shit. Because you are still limited by your level and your mana. Obviously. I also do not have the Apexes ready, not that I have a rune right now. But they'll all be blue fire and lightning themed. And they'll be coming shortly after I finish up the blades. Which, when is this coming? When it's done. TM. Register trademark. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to give it a time frame or anything, but when it's done is when you can see this in the main release. You can, of course, head on over to the repo, download the whip branch, and use it as it's being developed, if you so desire. But, uh... Yeah, so I just, just wanted to pop in, give you guys a little preview of what I've been working on, and hopefully build some excitement for that. So yeah, um, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you later.